And I thought I had a few more years. I did. But I knew something was going on. But my heart wanted a few more years. Because after my, I thought he would still be here when my daughter left to go to college. I was like, it's going to be me and him. He's my little riding partner. <laughs> it's me and him. Because he was that person that was always there. It was always me and my son. My daughter would be at school and everything. And it would be me and him. Because we didn't have a nurse consistently. We only had a nurse, I'd say maybe half of his time, maybe. Because it was really, really difficult to keep nursing here where we are. And um, that was a whole other journey with and of itself. But I did, I thought I would have him a little bit longer, but I, I felt that things were changing and I knew he was really tired. He was really tired. He was on the ventilator and they had to keep him sedated to keep him on the ventilator because he could not use his left hand, but he could use his right hand and he would take it out. And so they would have to, you know, tie his hand down and all that. And I hated that for him. And I was like, you know, we've, we've gone through this so many times. And it was almost as if he was pleading to me. And I really had to step back a lot in his last hospital visit because I, I at that particular time, I had absolutely no, no will to be quiet. <laughs> I was very, very vocal. And um and I, and I think it was also because I could feel, it was just, I don't know, that maybe it's that maternal thing. And I was so close to him. I was so close. I didn't even realize how exactly close we were, but there was like this spiritual connection that I had to him to just feel him and understand where he was knowing that that's not what he wanted. And he, my son didn't cry. He stopped crying when he was like four or five, which was so interesting to me. I was like, wow, he turned into a little man, you know? He's like, no crying over here. But when I went in to see him one particular day at the last hospital visit right before he passed, tears just streamed down his eyes. And for me, I was like, okay, yeah. He's, he's done with this and we're, we're done with this. And you get to that point where it's like, we can't, I'm not going to allow him to suffer any more than he has to, because as much as I wanted him to stay there and says, you know, stay on life support. He was, you know, on full, full support. That wasn't what he wanted. I did, because I, I was like, okay, we've gone through this so many times. He's just going to snap out of it, and we're going to go home. He's going to be like, ah, my, my, my. <laughs> he would, you know, scream and babble like a baby, and I loved it. I thought that, you know, we would be able to do that again, but that just wasn't the case. He had gotten to the point where he was that tired, and I was, I had to accept that. I didn't want to accept that. I didn't. Even today, you know, you wish for like one more minute, 30 more seconds, just 120 seconds. <laughs> just give me that. It's not going to happen. But you wish. But that just wasn't the case. He gave me a few more hours after we took him off. Um, and then he left. So I had to make that decision to not keep him on. They told me, you know, well, we can... Uh, keep on the ventilator, take him home and all those things. And I said, no, that's not him. My son is like, I run this show. I don't want that thing down my throat. I've had to deal with that too many times, not doing it. And I had to, I had to respect that. And that's tough because <laughs> it's like, it, you know, you, you have to let them go when they're, when they're ready us as moms we would never be ready never and I wasn't but I had to be when they took it out he smiled and laughed and when he did that I was like yes 
I was like, yes, you know, we're going to get a little more time. But he was happy. And in him doing that, that let me know that I made the right choice. Because when they figured out, he was just like, ah. you know, he was so hoarse, <laughs> but he still was like, ah. <laughs> and I told myself, oh, God. yeah, I did. I made the right decision. And um, he made it home so he could pass at home. Mm 